He is rambunctious, he is playful, he loves to play. He's not only a ball of energy, but he is full of love and just pure happiness. I found out about Gordon through a social media post. There was an adoption ad that was put out online and shared all over social media. And it just tugged at my heart. It didn't take long though, before I realized that this was the right thing for him and ultimately the right thing for us. There are a lot of unknowns about his history because he was a stray. So we believe that he had been, you know, living on the street. He was found on the side of the road and presumably had been hit by a car and paralyzed. Gordon came to us with a wheelchair. It looked like it was something that someone made specially for him, which was really sweet. It was being held together by a lot of miscellaneous things, including some duct tape. <laughs> I did a lot of research and found one that seemed to be the most durable because I could already tell that he was gonna push it to its limits. We got him outfitted for a new wheelchair and it is truly a lifeline for him. Some of Gordon's Instagram followers that alerted me to the contest it wasn't something I had seen in the past. And when I saw it, I thought, you know, why not? I have nothing to lose. But we sort of have been joking with people. A lot of people ask, you know, how has Gordon done since winning the contest? And I've said, you know, he really hasn't let it go to his head. He's just stayed down to earth and true to himself and enjoying all the attention, of course, and extra food and treats and things that go along with that. <laughs> really happy to share Gordon's story and get him on social media in front of people because he's sort of not, not only an inspiration, but I feel like seeing him in his wheelchair gives a message to a lot of other people who maybe their pets are struggling with mobility for them just to see that there are options out there. My advice to anyone who's considering adopting a pet, especially one that has special needs, would be to do your homework and to ask questions. So it's really just reflecting and asking yourself those questions. Am I the right person to do this? And can I commit to this dog for their lifetime? And I feel like that's an important question, whether you're adopting a puppy or a rescue dog or a special needs dog or cat or, or any other pet. He has brought more joy and more laughter and happiness to our lives that we could never repay to him. You can't have too much joy or too much laughter in your life. And he has certainly given us a fair share of that.